Can you guess America's favorite vegetable? Corn. Now it's debatable whether corn is an actual vegetable or a grain or actually a fruit, if you look at the different definitions of it. But I don't think it's a vegetable because vegetables are like the leaves and stems of plants. But regardless of that, corn has a couple issues with it. Number one, it's pretty low in nutrients. Like if you take 100 grams of, of fresh corn, it's 4% vitamin A, 6% vitamin C, 2% iron, and 0% calcium. They're just not a lot of nutrients in corn. And of course, when people are eating corn, they're not usually eating fresh corn. They're doing either uh, corn chips or popcorn or something made with corn starch. But corn is just in so many foods at the grocery store. Now, here's the problem with corn. 93% um, of the corn grown, at least in the US, is GMO. And there's two different types that make up GMO. You have HT and BT. HT would be herbicide tolerant. So if you grow corn and you spray uh, Roundup Ready, which is glyphosate, on the corn, it kills the weeds, but it doesn't kill the corn because the corn is resistant to the herbicide. Now, BT is slightly different. The actual corn kernel is an insecticide. So when the insects eat it, they die. That's what's making up this 90% of the corn grown in the US. And the majority of this is fed to uh, animals. Of course, we then eat the animals, so we get it indirectly. Now, the other problem that I see is that the farmers that grow the corn actually get paid to grow the corn. So it's very profitable. You can make high fructose corn syrup, corn oil. And what really shocked me is an average person in the US consumes 160 pounds of corn every single year. Uh, I'm not consuming any corn in my diet. So some people are obviously consuming a lot more than 160 pounds. And corn is the most GMO food, uh, probably ranking close with uh, soy. Both of those are very, very high on the list. All right, let's talk about the difference between fact and opinion. A fact is something that is based on evidence, truthful information. An opinion may or may not be based on evidence, and it may not be truthful. And just because a lot of people tell you a lie doesn't make it a truth. So if 100 people told you the same lie, would it be a truth? What about 1,000? Because when you do searches on the internet, you will see everywhere that GMOs are considered safe. In fact, the FDA even said that they're confident that the genetically engineered food is as safe as its conventional counterpart. Well, this is an opinion and this is definitely an opinion. Let's go right to the facts. The World Health Organization, based on evidence, stated that the chemicals in GMO foods are a probable carcinogen. And there's a couple other facts that you may not be aware of. The FDA does not do safety tests on GMO food. They said it's the manufacturing company's responsibility to ensure safety. And here's another fact, the length of time that these GMO foods were tested on animals, rats, were only three months. This is not enough time to really see the consequences of what these GMO foods do to our bodies. And the other fascinating thing about the FDA is they don't require independent safety studies. And on top of that, when you do the safety study, you don't even have to send them the entire uh, complete study. You can send them a summary of the study. Amazing but true. All right, so now that you know America's favorite vegetable, comment below on what your favorite vegetable is. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.